What's up, Tim Sykes Millionaire Mentor here with my parents. Hi. Answering your questions. Uh, leave comments below, we'll answer all your questions. We love sharing this stuff. We are frankly all very blessed and very grateful for this life and we want more of you guys and your families to live this life. Um, some of you guys don't know, but I bought them a place down here in Miami Beach. Um, moved them down from Connecticut, because Connecticut sucks. Um, <laughs> how is Miami treating you? Oh my you? God, we love it. Yeah? Oh, how does it compare to Connecticut? You like it better? Well, yeah. I hate, I didn't realize how much I hate Connecticut. <laughs> no, I love it where we live. It's just the whole atmosphere, the, the climate, the place that we live in. It's yes. just, it's wonderful. Yeah, we, you know, we, we've adapted you know, to a pedestrian lifestyle, which is, yeah. you know, I ride my bike every day. Yeah. And I walk everywhere. It's sunny yeah. out, right? And it's nice. Yeah. We're filming this in the wintertime, and it's like 80 degrees and, out. And I want to address what this whole thing about, I guess you told me something about, People say we live in a shithole. Yeah, yeah. So, so somebody posted photos of the place that I bought them yeah. and called it a shithole. How is your shithole? Well, first of all, we're expanding it. But besides, but besides that, one of my favorite things to say to people every day I get up, yeah. I look outside at this beautiful pool. Yeah. Um, I walk down to the garage. I walk by my Porsche. And I get on my bicycle. Yeah. And, and I and I ride to either my office or I go to the gym. Yeah. And I say to people. And I don't know, Porsche is five or six years old, which yeah. I love driving. Yeah. Which I don't drive that much because I don't go anywhere. Yeah. And I say to people, so what you're saying is you want me to get up every morning, look at the pool, walk by my Porsche. So instead of walking by my Porsche, you want me to walk by my Ferrari onto my bicycle? Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, who says you have to spend money because you have it? Yeah. I, I don't understand that. Well, it's good to have money, you know, as security. Right. But whether you have a Porsche or a Ferrari, you're still living. I'm riding my bicycle. You're riding your bicycle, but you're also still just living life. Right. Like this is the dream life, any way you put it. Right. But it's funny how some of you guys, you know, judge because you know we share everything, frankly, just to inspire you to study harder. I found nothing better than visuals of my life and my parents' life and the charity and everything that we do to get you to study harder. That's why we share it. I'm not sharing this stuff to brag, um, but we are very grateful, right? Oh, every, every day. Every day we walk around, we think we, first of all, we always say, oh yeah, this is what we planned. We had no idea yeah. that, that we were gonna be living this What do you think life? most people can do to get this for their own parents? Well. Find out what they love to do. What are you going to say? I was going to say, follow you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I mean, you're my son. <laughs> this, is, this is why we share this stuff. Because I'm just an average guy. I'm not that great at math. You know, we're, we're not literally... Great at math. I'm not, I suck at math, okay? That's not true. Okay, oh so. my god, we don't need to go into this. Listen, I'm an average guy. Long story short, right? Well. The, <laughs> just let me talk to these people, right. okay? I'm trying to talk. Okay. <laughs> what separates us and our fantastic life from you and your life, no matter where you are in the world, is work ethic. We've all worked nice. our butts off, right? Our mom ships out DVDs. She works her butt off being head shipper. Joel helps challenge students, get initiated, and learn different things. And he's you know helping structure this business. We now have dozens of employees and thousands of students all over the world. And it comes down to work ethic. And it's like, what do you want to do in this life? You know, how badly do you want success? So use the visuals that we share. Use like our photos and videos to push yourself and be like, wow, I can get this. And trust me, it's worked. I have five millionaire students so far, dozens of students who are making six figures per year. But look at my parents. Look at the smiles on their faces, right? <laughs> this is should be you and your parents. And, or, you know, whoever you want to treat. It can be friends, it can be family, it can be yourself, it could be your pet. Where's Sophie? Sophie, Sophie say hi, she's baby. sleeping. Sophie. Wait, this is the video where she's gonna say hi. Quiet. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, you know, if it's your pets, if it's your family, whatever it is, it's within your reach if you study enough. Um, why do you think we have the most millionaire students in the Midwest of the U.S.? Work ethic. Yeah. Absolutely. Work ethic. I can't figure that one out. Yeah, no, it's, it's work ethic. Yeah. Because the Midwest is boring as fuck, so there's nothing to do, so they study. I, I, think they have a, I think they have a realistic work ethic. 
So other parts of the country don't have a real estate work ethic. Zoom in on this. <laughs> it doesn't that is, you know, you, Hold on. Since you asked me, you asked, I think they oh, have the best, I think the, I think Midwest has the best work ethic. I think for, the North for learning. Because for, they're like farmers, so they're used to getting up at 5 a.m. for the crops, and now they find a new crop, and it's digital crops. Is that what you're saying? I think they see the value in working hard. Gotcha. You're not going to trap me. Versus <laughs> other parts of the country in the world where they don't work as hard? I... I think what do you think about LA people, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about LA people? <laughs> you can't handle the truth. I don't think LA people have a similar work ethic. Oh, <laughs> oh LA people rise up. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, we're. This is good. We're challenging. But it also could be my aversion to traffic. Yeah. So, so I can't. So, so that I could be prejudiced by my aversion. You know, they work their butts off at having the most traffic. Like, right. you say, like, where can we have the most traffic? LA people wake up every morning and they say, let's all get on the roads at the exact same time. Right. We're going to win this traffic battle. We're going to have the most traffic right. ever right. so that everyone relies on prescription drugs. Right. And she put I mean, you go to LA, you know, my wife, Joan, and I, we walk everywhere. I ride my bike. Yeah. No one walks in LA. No yeah. one rides. You get, you get Pulled over, you have to pay. I don't mean to, to start a turf war of LA versus Midwest versus US. Sorry, I know there's some really nice people in LA. A few. No, we don't good. need to go that far. We don't need to lie to the cameras, okay? It's okay. We've already made it pretty clear. If you're from the Midwest, you're good. If you're from LA, you suck. Just but, study but up. The Northeast? Produce, look at you. You're from the Northeast. I don't agree with you with the Here's the gist of this video. If you are in LA, you have no potential, no future whatsoever. The good news is you can study enough. Don't go out in the traffic. Just use your laptop or smartphone, right? Study in your little residence and then get the fuck out of LA before it kills you. There you go. Right? Good to agree more. Hey, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.